As I take part in my professional Masters of Education, my identity as an artist is slowly changing. I am transitioning from being not solely an artist, but an artist, researcher, teacher, whereby I will continue the ongoing practices of making and writing as I become an educator. Through this community of practice, I am learning to balance my role as a creative individual with that of a regulated professional. This audiovisual presentation will document my own interpretation of and my role as an artist, a researcher and a teacher, and how I navigate my development into utilising a balanced combination of the three. As a way to articulate my understanding of this topic, I decided to work together with my classmate, Brendan, to discuss and explore the idea, how it relates to us and our practice, and how taking part in this PME at Limerick School of Art and Design is shaping us to become successful artists, researcher, teachers. Talking about then being a teacher mm. and being an artist teacher, do you think it's possible to withhold, like to keep up that art practice, whether it's just thinking and researching, do you think it's possible to withhold that and be a full-time teacher at the same time? Or do you think it's possible that falling, in, falling into a teacher role can interrupt that and, 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 you know, and yeah. affect your art practice? I think it's very easy for that to happen. Yeah. And I, but I think you kind of need to think of it differently. I think that's why it's so good to think of them in unison because you, your, your teaching doesn't have to be take away from your art practice. You know, it can really inform it. And I think we get a little bit overwhelmed thinking we have to be constantly aware of this. Yeah. I think sometimes if you just let it go and kind of let it happen, mm. it, it's going to affect when you sit down and make. You know, I think we don't need to be like, okay, this, I need to like, be so aware of what I'm teaching so that I can add it to my art practice. Yeah. And vice versa, I think it will just happen naturally if you're just malleable to it, like. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, I do think, in a sense, like, it's getting the balance of having the time to make is the hardest thing. Yeah. Like, it's, I think if you even have like a day or two in the week or, or even like half a day, you're yeah. still making. Yeah. And everything you've done up to that point in the week yeah. is part of your art practice. Yeah. But um, if you're not making, then, yeah, I think you lose the artist's part of it. Yeah, I suppose. But then it's... you could say, like, I don't know, what do you think if, about, you know, your students' work? Is that, you know, having a product by the end of it? Brendan and I discussed how we are benefiting from the interactions happening within the PME group and the relationships formed with our peers and vice versa. This community of practice works as a support system as we develop as artists, researcher, teachers. Yeah, I think the, 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 you know, the course definitely has a lot to offer mm -hmm. um, me in terms of um, facilitating that kind of like that process yeah you know yeah you probably like, you probably wouldn't get you know you know think about it i guess you know different situations yeah and i think that that's why the community community of practice yeah works so well and because i think if you're sitting on your own thinking about this kind of stuff you know you need other people's opinions to help inform your own opinion yeah about it yeah um and same with like your just simply your art practice and your teaching practice you know seeing other people try and figure it out too really kind of helps the process yeah and so i guess do you think there's a there's a, a, a difference between working in a team and working in a group yeah i guess the team is kind of like it sounds very goal oriented yeah whereas community is a lot more loose and yeah. like you're just bouncing. The, maybe the goals aren't as defined no yeah exactly yeah 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 and like um even just being in the same room as someone again i think it all goes back like for my my own idea i think is to sometimes let go of the thought the conscious thought yeah and just let things happen yeah and that's for me like 
that's what the community community of practice is. You're a just place to let uh, to let that stream of consciousness yeah. flow into, and everyone's absorbing it. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, I do think. Yeah, I think that's actually a really interesting point to kind of uh, define that difference between mm. a, a team and a group and this community. Mm. I guess having that whole artist, researcher, teacher is a way to kind of keep it in balance. Yeah. Like the teacher will always have to kind of keep the artist in check and the artist will have to keep the teacher in check. You know? Yeah. It's that um, self-awareness you need to yeah, have, isn't it? Yeah. But like, um, do you think like this, this whole new concept of the artist, researcher, teacher, do you think that kind of, I suppose, helps solve the issue of this internal conflict that, because I know when I began it's like when you be a teacher when you're becoming a teacher you kind of feel like oh, it's just gonna like it's it's just gonna rub up against the artist and they're not supposed to fit together yeah but they're, they're gonna be a conflict yeah and I think everyone kind of probably maybe I'm speaking no, I shouldn't speak for everyone but I think I think that's at the beginning of the process you're like oh like what's gonna happen like I don't feel comfortable yeah having these two roles together do you think this whole like artography idea will fix that problem for a lot of people? I think so, yeah, and I think... The creation and development of the artist, researcher, teacher identity is a very complicated and distinct process, influenced by many variables. One's personal and professional identities as a teacher and an artist, the approach in one's personal and pedagogic philosophy and practice the nature of their environment and whatever stage of their career they are at will all influence this persona. It is so that I believe the artist, researcher, teacher is an ever-evolving personal construct, one that I begin and continue to navigate now and throughout my professional and creative practice.